Okay, now we're ready for some basic rules of integration. In general, we're going to say that if the derivative of one function f of x is g of x, then we will be able to say that the integral of g of x dx is f of x plus a constant. And the integral of from a to b of g of x dx is going to be f of b minus f of a. Yay! So what so basically every rule we have for derivatives is going to turn into a rule for integrals. It's just going to be entirely reversed. For example, we have the power rule. We have the power rule. The power rule says that the derivative of x to the n is n x to the n minus 1. To take the derivative of just something to a power, you put the power in front, and then you subtract 1 from the exponent. The integral equivalent of that is going to be that the integral, well, we could say it directly, n x to the n minus 1 dx is in fact x to the n plus c. But we can do it one better. We can say that what are we, do, what are we doing here? We are adding 1 to the exponent and then dividing by it. In general, we say that the antiderivative of x to the n dx is x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. If if n is not negative 1. If n were negative 1, then we would be dividing by 0 in this case. Should we go to that right away? Oh, what the heck. If n is negative 1, then what we're talking about is the integral of x to the negative 1 dx, which is the integral of 1 over x dx. And then you'd say, hey, isn't the integral of 1 over x, whose derivative is 1 over x? The derivative of that is, when I put it this way, the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x, which would incline you to think that the integral of 1 over x is natural log of x. However, the derivative of the natural log of negative x is the derivative of natural log of something is 1 over the something times the derivative of that something. The derivative of negative x is negative 1. That gives you negative 1 over negative x. That also is 1 over x. So basically, the derivative of the natural log of plus or minus x is 1 over x. Or more briefly, the derivative of the natural log of the absolute value of x is 1 over x. And this is what we use. Plus or minus x, the absolute value of, of, a, of a, the absolute value of x is either x left alone, if x is positive, or the negative of x. So in some sense, it is plus or minus x. So why don't I just sum this up by saying the integral of x to the n dx is x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1, did I write that right? Yes, plus c if x is, if n is not equal to negative 1 and it's equal to the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c if n does equal negative 1. What are some other nice rules we have for integrals? Well, we know that the derivative of f of x plus g of x is, you can take the derivatives of them separately. Eh. You can take the derivatives of them separately. And that tells us that the integral of f prime of x plus g prime of x takes us back to f of x plus g of x plus c. But the more beautiful thing is it basically says that if you have the integral of things added, you can 
evaluate them separately. Uh, why don't I do one more all in a row? We also have the, the derivative of k times f of x. If k is a constant, is just k times f prime of x. The whole, like, if you have a constant in front of a function, you just leave it alone and you take the derivative. That tells me that the integral of k times f prime of x dx is k times f of x. In other words, I can not worry about the constant. Just as I don't really have to worry about multiplying by about constants multiplied in front of things when we're taking the derivatives, the exact same thing applies to taking antiderivatives. So what does this mean? This means that if we have the integral of x to the fifth uh, 4x to the 5th plus 3x squared plus 5 dx, it means that, well, I'll do it out. This is because they are added, we can integrate them separately. Integral of 4x to the 5th dx plus integral of 3x squared dx plus the integral of 5 dx. And we can pull all the constants out. This is 4 integral of x to the 5th dx plus 3 integral of x squared dx plus 5 integral of x to the 0 dx. And now we can use that inverse power rule. This is 4x to the 6th over 6 plus 3x cubed over 3 plus 5x to the add 1 to the 0 x to the 1 over 1 plus a constant. And this simplifies down to 2 thirds x to the 6th plus x cubed plus 5x plus c. But I hope that you realize that I'm only doing this out the long way for your own benefit. Hopefully you can go directly from this straight to say this. You can say, oh, they're added together, I can deal with them separately. There's a 4, I'll just put it out front. Integral of x to the fifth, you add 1 to the exponent and divide by it. Plus 3 left alone, raise the 2 by 1 to 3, and then divide by that. This is, um, whose you could ask it this way, whose derivative is just 5? 5x. Or you could say that this is 5x to the 0. So the add 1 to the exponent becomes x to the 1. Uh, we could do more complicated things. We could do something like the integral of, oh, I don't know, 5 times the 4th root of x minus 3 over x to the 7th dx. What is this? Uh, Oh, let's make it even more crazy, complicated. x to the 7th um, plus 4 over x dx. What is this? Well, first of all, we write this as 5 times x to the 1 fourth minus 3 times x to the negative 7 plus 4 x to the negative 1 dx, and then we go through. It's constant, we leave the constant alone, 5. We have to add 1 to the 1 fourth, and we get x to the 5 fourths. And we divide by 5 fourths, which is the same thing as multiplying by 4 fifths. We have minus 3, we add 1 to that, and it gives us negative 6. And then we divide by negative 6. We add 1 to the negative 1, and we get 0, and we are about to divide by 0, and then we say, whoa, 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 we do not divide by 0. Hey, wait a second, this is 4 times 1 over x. That will be 4 natural log of the absolute value of x. And because this is an indefinite integral, we add c. If it had gone from 2 to 7, then I plug in 7, and I plug in 2, and I subtract. And we can tidy this up, but you know we can cancel these fives, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The negative three over negative six is just a two down below, but you get the idea.